Wow, this is kind of incredible. This camera, I don't know what was going on with the SD card. Wasted a whole bunch of time talking into a video and... And then the camera just shuts off, says processing. So there was something wrong with the SD card, so the SD card said it was full, but it wasn't. So, as I was saying, you wouldn't know it because uh, you didn't see the other screw up. Hey, there's a 2024. I need to buy some more Silver Eagles. I've been working on a tube. I've got a monster box that I worked on for years. Probably for 10 years. And then uh, now I'm working on more, I guess. 10, 14. I don't know how many I've got. Not quite enough for a tube. So I, I still get... Uh, I think I've, I've got a whole bunch of the 2021 Silver Eagles, and I got those because I got FOMO back then. I'm not getting the FOMO this time. I'm not sure why. Man, what the heck is going on with this capsule? Where's the uh, ridge? What did you guys do to my capsules when I wasn't looking? There we go. So I just had these random ones in a capsule. This is a 2021. I bought... I, I have like four or five tubes of the 2021s in my monster box because that was kind of what finished it out. Then I had some extras I put in tubes or into capsules because I was thinking, oh, it's the Type 1 design. It's going to be worth a million bucks. It's not worth a million bucks. It's worth the same as every other every other Silver Eagle. They sure do look cool, though. That's 15 in the tube. Oh, then I put this... Uh, from the Fractional Gold Fiesta. You didn't see me, but I put it in this little uh, the Perth Mint 10th ounce capsules. I always take the, uh, the the coin out and then I just save the capsules and uh, I learned this little trick from uh, Kansas Kid. He puts his he takes his gram gold bars out of the assay cards and puts them into these capsules. Not sure why, but that's the way he likes to do it, so that's the way it's going to be done in his house and there's nothing wrong with that so I'm working on this tube and I'll probably I need to buy some more for uh, some more Silver Eagles for gifts I need some 2024's get out get get out man that I don't know why that's so tight yeah, so I need to get another <clears throat> at least a tube of the 2024's because each one of my kids gets one for their birthday, and they also get one for Christmas. And now they've got boyfriends and girlfriends, so they get them also. That's 16, 17, 18, 19. So I need one more to make a full tube. Oh, and I got the... Uh, I sent that uh, Commander Series coin back, the patent one. I don't know if I meant... I mentioned it in another video, I think. They... Uh, sent me a shipping label they must not have there's a 1987 that's one year after one year after the beginning of the silver eagles so i sent them the the second video i did because they didn't they probably didn't see the first one it probably went to their spam filter or something like that but somebody called me from sd bully and said hey i saw you thanks for sending the video and we'll uh we'll send you a shipping label if you want to swap that out no problem and they they've always been good at customer service like that so I wasn't too worried about it. This is a 1991. There's no key dates. I don't have any key date ones, I don't think. At least I haven't searched all the old ones that I used to have. I probably need to fix the uh, settings on this camera so the white balance doesn't go wonky when I try and show like super reflective stuff like this super gorgeous type one back American Silver Eagle there was a there was a time when I was putting sil all Silver Eagles in capsules <laughs> and I was like oh man that was a waste of money I could have just got a tube and SD Bullion sells these I think a lot of places like Bullion Exchanges and 
Atmex, uh, everywhere sells the uh, empty American Silver Eagle tubes. This is a 2001. So you can buy an empty tube and just fill it up at your leisure. So next bullion order, I need to order at least one to get this filled up. And I don't know what to do with all these extra capsules. I was thinking about putting the channel chips in them because I've got Boom, the newest one from Bottom Gun Bob, Death from Below. Um, but I like the sound they make. And if they were in capsules, they would just sound like plasticky. These are, uh, these ones are clay, I believe. Actually, this one's ceramic. And I think all the rest are clay. So Liberty Bleed Silver has two different kinds. Then I've got a bunch of Mellow Stacks. That's a new one. From Mellow. Hello, it's yellow. Or, hello, it's Mellow. <laughs> Don't be yellow. This is Channel Bar. Kick butt. Anyway, oh yeah, I was going to ask you guys. Do you have any idea? This is a design, it looks like, from India. There's a couple elephants on either side of the... Uh, Person. It's a Valcombi one ounce round, but I don't know anything about it. I would like to know what this is from. It's probably for some festival of lights or something like that. But I, I don't know. I never, I just bought, I got it in a eBay lot. You guys might have seen the video of me unboxing it. So, yeah, uh, silver is over 25 bucks an ounce, which I thought was super cool. Um, it's and uh, gold is like eighteen dollars away from twenty two hundred, so that's pushing. Uh, it's looking like it's kind of just staying up there. And so bitcoins at seventy three thousand one hundred eighty one. Everything's going up. Everything's going up. Groceries, cost of living, and uh, assets. So hopefully you're not getting FOMO and overpaying for stuff you can I would just keep buying at a on a regular schedule and kind of disregard the price don't worry that uh, it's a little bit higher you don't know if it's gonna go up or gonna go down so I just I just keep stacking I've got a couple more orders coming one from the Royal Mint that they got returned to sender because it said uh, uh, sus suspicion of prohibited products or something like that which they're just trying to justify their existence, I guess. So I gotta get a hold of the Royal Mint and ask them uh, what's going on. Why is uh, the Royal Mail not uh, delivering my stuff that they always do? They've never, I've never had a problem with them doing this, but all of a sudden I've got a suspicious package. It's just, just some silver, man. You don't have to worry about it. Anyway, I think that's it. I just wanted to put these in a tube. Um, I'll put this with the rest of the fractional gold fiesta stuff and uh, stay mellow. I'm going to uh, get back to work. I've got to deal with some stuff at home that means that in the, in the, I got a, uh, a burst pipe at home. So that's what I'm dealing with. I'm going to head home and uh, see if insurance has stopped by yet. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm, my brain's not working because I'm thinking about water damage. Anyway, I'm out of here. Have a great day, you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye a little bit. Bye a little bit. Just a little.